Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Ray and today I have another sneak peek from Diamond Art Club to share with you all. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending me the sneak peek. This is going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday the 29th of October. I am super excited because this is one of my favorite artists and there's something special about it. That's right. This is Radiance by Briz Bazaar. It's got square diamonds and it's 55.8 centimeters by 70.7. Very precise. And we're going to have a look at it because it's going to be so gorgeous. How are you all doing today? Happy Friday. Today, is, it's almost Halloween. What are you doing to celebrate? Are you going out this weekend? We've got a toolkit, we've got the sticker, and we have the kit with the canvas, the drills, and everything else. Let me just quickly show you what comes in here. This has everything that you need to start diamond painting. So, we've got all the bits and bobs. I'm just going to dump them into my hand here. So, we've got... Oh my goodness. Pen and tweezers. We've got multi placers, a cover minder. This one's a beautiful pink dolphin. This is for our drill tray. It goes into the end so that the drills don't spill out when you shake it. Then we also have a pen grip and we have some washi tape. And in here, there are two plates of heart-shaped wax. That's what you put in your pen to pick up the diamonds. They've also got baggies as well. So you can use these to store your leftover diamonds, or you can use them as you go along, depending on how you store the diamonds and organize them. I prefer an organizer, and I will link a uh, storage video just here in the eye uh, to give you some ideas if you would like to see what I use. With the sticker, I like to put these on the side of the box so that when I store them, I can see uh, which painting it is since I store them on their side. Let's go ahead and get into the canvas. So here we have the canvas, the diamonds, look at all of that black. So for all of you 310 lovers out there, this might be for you. We've got the legend here. It says there's 30 colors. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. So L5200 and Y198. I believe that could be a glow in the dark diamond and that must be a special shaped diamond. Here's the original picture. Isn't that just beautiful? And these are stickers so you can put these on the baggies or on your container system to make it easier to read the symbols. I like to put the symbols in order, alphabet, numerical, and then standard keyboard symbols, etc. But you can do it however you find it best to use on your kit. Here we have some tips and tricks if you would like to have a look at that when you order. And if you are ordering for the first time, I do have a little code down below in the description of this video that you can use if it's your first order ever. Now, this is a soft poured glue canvas. It makes it the diamond painting just feel that much better when you go to work on it. It's malleable and the printing on this type of canvas is actually spectacular. I like it quite a bit because you don't need a light pad if you have good lighting in the room you're working in. So I just like to roll it backwards so that it sits a little bit flatter on the table and then do that to let it lay flat. Oh my gosh. I'm going to turn this to the side. That way it'll fit into the screen and you'll be able to see a little bit better. So we have do what makes you sparkle which is Diamond Art Club's motto. <laughs> We've got legends both on the left and the right hand side. You can see it over there. 
And we've got the details about the artist. As you can see, Radiance, Briz Bazaar. It's copyrighted. It is licensed artwork. Ooh, okay. I, my first impression of this kit is a little bit like when I saw the picture online, it was a little bit different from this. Um, and my idea of how the special diamonds were going to come on here were a little bit different, I think. But either way, I love this geometric pattern. There's a lot going on here and I love the colors. I absolutely adore them. So let me show you what the canvas looks like up close. So you can see the printing for yourself. All of those dots <laughs> with the black surrounding are black diamonds and they will sparkle so much. I love the neon colors in this. Just beautiful. I would recommend small sections with this painting. But it is beautiful. Now with this one, I noticed that there are some, you might see this. If you get a canvas that has kind of like, this is hard to capture on camera, but it's like an air bubble that's trapped underneath. All you would need to do if you're worried about it is just to lift up the plastic and kind of let this lay flat and then put that plastic cover back down. That'll get rid of that trapped air bubble. Sometimes that happens but it doesn't hurt the canvas. And if you're having, if you're struggling a lot with anything, Diamond Art Club has great customer support. So you should just message them. You can message them on Facebook or email or Instagram or any of their socials and they will help out. So let's have a look at the diamonds, shall we? I can see some special drills. If you'd like to skip this part and just see where the special diamonds go, there are three Aurora Borealis diamonds. I'll show you what those look like in a moment. Then we have the glow in the dark and a special drill. Amazing. So, the, one of the special drills is right here. These are called quad cubes. Aren't they beautiful? They're huge. So they're special diamonds and they take up four square diamonds on the kit. They are going to look so cool. Love it. Oh, they're so pretty. How many bags of 310 do you think are in here? I see there's quite a bit. Let's count them. Is this another strand of 310? It sure does look like it. Oh, it's, nope, it's the same strand. Okay, so we've got, you ready for this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen bags of 310. That's quite a lot of black drills. It's going to sparkle so much. I love it. And we have 3806, 160. And 165. In our next strand. Ooh! Oh my gosh, I was totally wrong. We have 159. There's two bags. 762, three bags. 3849. 742. Square crystals. So these are like the quad cubes, but these are these are the regular square drill size. <sighs> Baby square crystals. Oh my god, they're so cute. And 3835. So they're not glow, glow in the dark like I thought. We have 125, which is an AB. So Aurora Borealis AB. This has a special coating on it. Can you see it? It's iridescent and it makes the drills sparkle a lot. 444. Here we have two bags of 132, an orange 80. 
3805, 164, 161, 119, ooh, purple, very pretty, 809, 414, 415, 930, 907, 3746, 3819, 597, 3821, 3804, 807, and 3834. Now, let's see where those special drills go. Because this canvas is a mandala, it means that it's mirrored the same on every side. So if you cut the piece into a quarter, then you would see exactly the same thing mirrored three more times. So I'm just gonna focus on the one side here. So as we saw, the quad cubes are the big ones and that's where it says 98. So wherever there is a big white dot that says 98, that is for the big quad cube. Very pretty, very pretty in the center here too. And then we have the smaller cubes, the crystals, and those are in these little dots that are in the background here. You can see them sprinkled around. And they're also kind of in the loops there. They are in here as well, just kind of dotted around, so pretty. And that that is gonna look amazing, that you know, dichotomy between the really dark three tendrils and then the crystals. Oh, love it. Then we have the ABs as well. So um, number one is purple, and I see them here in the flower petals right around here. Are there any ones in the corners? I'm just trying to have a look here. I don't see ones in the corners. So it looks like they're centered in the middle and I don't see them anywhere else, but that doesn't mean that they're not. <laughs> oh, here we go. I found it. So right up in here as well. Number two is the 125 that was the light minty green and that is all in the corner here where you see kind of like that white that is all a b right in there also here on the tips of these we've got them and they're sprinkled in here as well so they're really just highlighting certain areas of the outer parts of this flower. Number three is the orange, and I can see that here, as well as sprinkled around where you see the orange on the corner there, also here, and around these sides, and of course, mirrored, also here, and outlining these petals. <gasps> So pretty, there's so much of it. Like <laughs> anywhere you see that dark orange color, that's where they are. And then number four was 159. And number four is kind of in here, it's that purple. So we can see, it looks like the, on, the printing on the canvas is blue, but the actual drill is purple and there's so much of it. There's so much in every petal on the outside. There's also some here mirrored and in these as well and in the middle. So in the middle of the flower down at the very bottom, you'll see it there too. Holy cow. <laughs> There's so many beautiful specialty colors here and specialty drills. This is incredible. I think it's gonna look amazing. Now, I'm just going to pull this back because I noticed another track air bubble. It doesn't hurt the painting. It just means that a little bit of air got stuck. It could mean that it was just still warm when the plastic was put on top. And it doesn't hurt anything. There we go. Just like that. Now that glue is really sticky and I love how pillowy it is when you place a diamond on. It feels like you're pressing into just a really soft, it's almost like, it's almost like eating that first bite of cake. 
that's how it feels to me <laughs> to place diamonds on these canvas. And I know that sounds silly, but that's why I love them so much. So I hope this makes you, uh, gives you a good idea of what's coming out this weekend. And if you enjoy it, let me know in the comments. Let me know if this is something that you would like to get for yourself or maybe for a friend. I think it's gorgeous. It will probably take me a long time to get to this one, but it is beautiful. And I love Briz Bazaar, so I will link um, Briz Bazaar's paintings down below so you can have a look at the other things that she's created for Diamond Art Club. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all soon in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye!